differences there. Uh, you're supporting Santorum, obviously, and, and um, uh, her a lot of what she had to say had to do with the uh, uh, foreign uh, intervention and in, in the uh, the future uh, shape of the military. Uh, uh, where are you on those things? Well, I mean, there's there's a lot of different issues. Um, uh, ultimately, I look at I mean, there's I have concerns on the military front, but when I, when I stop and consider you know, what are the greatest issues, um, I think one of the greatest moral issues of the day is the, is abortion uh -huh. uh, and, and the abortion holocaust. Uh, one of the reasons why I support Rick Santorum is because of his strength in opposing that in the past, his conviction on it, and his ability to live that way as his own. In his own family, he and his wife, but there's a very difficult time for the child not to have an abortion. Uh, so that that's one of the defining issues. Uh, another one of the defining issues is Obamacare. I think Santorum draws the line very clearly on dealing with that. I think that if we don't deal with that in this coming in January, um, it will become entrenched into the United States and we'll never get it out properly uh, if we don't deal with it now. So there's many reasons why I'm a supporter of Santorum, but those are two. I think he, he's, he's very strong on the life issue, and he's also uh, a man of conviction, speaks very clearly, and draws a bright contrast with the Obama. Okay. Uh, on, you, you mentioned health care. Uh, is is a, is a totally private, uh, privatized uh, health care system, is, is that viable going into the future? Well, there's there's a whole number of issues, obviously, in Medicare and Medicaid. Laying that aside for the moment, uh, yes, I think it is viable. I think that you can address it somewhat in tax policy. One of the proponents today was, you know, dealing with a tax credit, being able to expense it for anybody, any individual, as opposed to, to as just as opposed to employers. I think having that and having portability, where a person buys their own insurance policy that fits for them, they take it with them wherever they go for employment, I think that, that would be a far better solution. But it, 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 I'm sorry. It, so is, is government regulation not required to, to you know, ride herd on something like that? I, I mean, like the, the, the portability issue. Well, I don't think it has to ride herd on it. In some ways, there's a lot of existing laws that need to be taken away. There's also some, uh, I mean, as in everything, something can be abused, and I'm certainly uh, understand that some amount of regulations may, be, may need to be Place. But ultimately, we need to take a free market approach to healthcare, just as we take a free market approach to many other things. Why should the government force me to buy from Walmart or from Kmart, as it used to be, and not Walmart? These are choices that I can make, I can support whom I want to. With healthcare, I want to be able to provide for the type of coverage that I need for myself and my family, and it's my choice. I had a question for you. While Representative Santorum uh, was in D.C. Uh, representing Pennsylvania. He brought up uh, creationism versus uh, intelligent design, and he got he caught a lot of heat for that. And some say that uh, he lost the race, his following his last race, due to that. I mean, not, not the and, 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 it, and if that does come up, do you think the popular opinion? Uh, would work against them if uh, if that came up again. Uh, creation versus evolution. I don't see that as being a major issue in this particular election. I'm not saying that it could be at at some points this year. What's on the people's minds is jobs, the economy, and moral conviction to be able to speak with authority. I think that Santorum is able to speak clearly on all of those issues, and they're the issues of the day. I don't see this other thing. And the, the fact of the matter is, you know, he, if, if a man is able to speak with conviction about what he believes, it doesn't mean he's forcing you to believe that. Well, he did try to get it put in the public school system. Folks. As an option. Okay, right. not as being enforced, as an option. Why not? That's, that's, that's very different. I mean, what's happening now is, is the exact opposite. It's being, you know, you don't have an option to teach. 
here's what is being taught here, and here's what is being taught here. Well, but but don't don't churches teach that all the time? I mean, that's that's where that's where the option is. Tax dollars. That's all it takes. You don't like what a church teaches. So so why why should tax dollars be be used to 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 promote a a, a, a theological view? Because evolution is just as much a theological view as creation. You have to have the same amount of faith, small f, in order to believe in evolution against so many things to the contrary in it. And this is something that has been admitted by Hawkins, by, by Lewis Hawkins, by many evolutionists, that it is a faith commitment on their part just as much. It is full indoctrination in the schools, it is a faith commitment that they have. And so it, it's being forcibly taught. No difference. Thank you. Great. Thanks okay. a lot.